Great morning, Team JPS. We are asking everyone to make their way to their seats as we are about to start our convocation. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to begin the program, so if you would, please uh, get to your seats. Please get to your seats. We are about to begin the program. Thank you.
fine-tune your sensory apparatus for the utmost and the miraculous, the mirthful, the mind-boggling, the most delightful sights and sounds available to any audience, anytime, anywhere. Why, it's the apex of excellence, the epitome of ostentatious variety, a superb ensemble representing the age of electronic and computerized musical explosions. Observe the fullness, the eccentricity, and aggressive showmanship. The quintessence of contemporary sounds and maneuvers representing Callaway, Forest Hill, Jim Hill, Mora, Provine, and Wingfield. The Jackson Public School District proudly presents its all-star mass band. It's time to get on your feet and jam as the all-star mass band gets this party started with an old school, new school medley starting with On Everything, Uptown Funk, The Butt, and The Show. Hey, some of y'all are still sitting down. Get on your feet and jam with that all-star mass band. All them drum majors got it going on. you old school people at? Get on your feet and let's do the butt. Come on, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sexy, sexy. Star Mass Band. Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, y'all know this one. Come on, let's go. Oh, 
Oh, Dr. Green, I see you over there. JPS, y'all showing out. Y'all quit that. Oh, Mel Lumumba over there getting his groove on. I see you. JPS, y'all get ready to rock the house. Here we go, JPS, let's go. J P S. Yeah, give it up for that all-star mass band, the Jackson Public School District, at its finest. The school year brings reflections on accomplishments of JPS scholars and staff from last year. Obama Magnet Elementary, which held the top rank among Mississippi's elementary schools last year, achieved this honor for the second time. To celebrate their academic success, teachers and students enjoyed a day filled with enjoyable activities. Dignitaries and politicians recognized their dedication and academic excellence. Scholars at JTEX and Witten Middle Schools shined in history competitions. JTEX produced a documentary on Tougaloo College's role in the Civil Rights Movement, winning first place in the Mississippi History Day. Witten Middle School scholars won state level in the Junior Division documentary category with their project titled American Imperialism. Two JPS seniors at Tougaloo Early College High School awarded millions of dollars in academic scholarships. Tynia Buckley received $3.7 million and Sydney Thompson received $2.1 million, crediting their support system and educators for guidance. Ida B. Wells APAC fifth grade scholar Benjamin Cummins was one of the 55 U.S. state and territory winners in the Doodle for Google competition. His artwork, along with other contestant winners' logo designs, eligible to be seen by hundreds of millions on Google's homepage. Seven Jackson Public School scholars had a life-changing experience through the Global Citizens Project. They journeyed to Lagos, Nigeria, bridging language and cultural barriers and forging lifelong bonds with their peers. This experience allowed them to learn about a different culture and broaden their sense of global unity. Brinkley Middle School science teacher Candice Taylor was elected as one of 10 teachers from eight states to participate in the esteemed National STEM Scholar Program. With seven years teaching experience at JPS, Mrs. Taylor's dedication is recognized with advanced training in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. JPS 2023 Teacher of the Year, Miss Lindsay McQueen. Yeah. Selected as runner-up for the State Teacher of the Year, Miss McQueen's unwavering dedication to teaching third graders at Dawson Elementary School 
earned this recognition, a testament to a lifelong dream fulfilled. Murrah High School baseball player Jaquarius Fleming received an invitation to participate in the MLB Draft League in Ohio. The league, established in 2021, offers players like Jaquarius an opportunity to showcase their skills against the top talents in the country, catching the attention of MLB scouts before the draft. The Jim Hill High School baseball team knocked it out of the park, reaching the second round of the MHS AA State Playoffs. Their exceptional performance, teamwork, and unwavering dedication brought immense pride to Jim Hill High School and the community. Good morning, JPS. A quick announcement. We are asking that if you are not seated on the floor, to please avoid going on to the blue mats. And if you are, watch your steps as you walk on and off the blue mats. Thank you. Great morning, Jackson Public School District. Happy homecoming. Oh, no. It's homecoming, guys. We can do better than that. Let's try it again. Happy homecoming. That sounds like our JPS. I am DeLacy Bridges, your 2023 JPS Administrator of the Year. A great big old shout out to my school, the mighty, mighty McLeod Mustang, where our motto is learning today, leading tomorrow. And I am Lindsay McQueen, your 2023 Teacher of the Year, where I represent Dawson Elementary where we pride ourselves in educating every child, every day, in every way. Welcome again to the 2023-2024 Convocation of the Jackson Public School District. We are your commentators for today's homecoming celebration. And at this time, we would like to give an extra shout out to some pretty dynamic individuals for their outstanding achievements last school year. They are none other than our Parent of the Year from Smith Elementary, Dr. Carrie Lowe Johnson. <laughs> District Leader of the Year from Planning and Evaluation, Mrs. Latoya Blackshear. And last but not least, District Support Staff of the Year from the Office of School Support, Dr. Siobhan McDuffie Otis, also known as Dr. Mac O. Again, our theme this year is One District, One Direction, Marching Toward Excellence. And marching is just what some of our outstanding and talented scholars came to do. The Murrah High School, JROTC, will present the colors. Allison Henson of Northwest Ivy Middle School will present the Pledge of Allegiance in Spanish. And Candace Rodriguez of Wheaton Middle School will present the Pledge as well. After the pledge, we will be followed by the singing of the National Anthem from the Callaway High School Male Chorale. But before we get started, we need you to take out those cell phones, take plenty of pictures, and tweet during our festive homecoming. Follow us on Twitter at JPS District and Jackson Public Schools on Facebook using the hashtag One District, One Direction.
Yo prometo lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América y a la república que representa una nación bajo Dios indivis indivisible con libertad y justicia para todos. Thank you. Please be seated. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, the function of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. And Nelson Mandela was right when he stated, education is the most powerful weapon you can utilize to transform the world. Yes, the solution to any issue lies in education. Today, we gather here not merely as a group of employees, but as a community of dedicated individuals who play an indispensable role in shaping the future. Each and every one of you is an integral part of this school district as we transform lives through an excellent education. In the hustle of everyday life, it's easy to overlook the immense impact we have on the lives of the scholars that we serve. Whether you are a teacher or in administration, maintenance, transportation, 
child nutrition, or any other department, you are an unsung hero. Your commitment and dedication are what make this district function seamlessly, creating an environment where our scholars not only succeed, but they thrive. Teaching is not merely a profession. It is a calling, a noble mission that requires unyielding passion, compassion, and resilience. It demands the courage to go above and beyond, to reach the seemingly unreachable, and to inspire greatness in those we serve. In our hands lies the power to unlock the potential within every child and guide them towards success, no matter their background, their challenges, or their doubts. We are the guiding lights in their darkest hours, the mentors who ignite the spark of curiosity and the pillars of support when they face setbacks. Remember, our impact extends far beyond the rooms of a classroom. It resonates through generations as the knowledge we impart fuels a chain reaction of positive change. At this time, allow us to introduce our distinguished guests who are also committed to transforming lives through excellent education. We are delighted to have Mayor Chukwe Anta Lamunga, a proud alumnus of Callaway High School, class of 2001. He also attended North Jackson Elementary, Davis Magnet, now Obama Magnet, and my feeder pattern high school, Murrah High School. He will be followed by Jackson State University President Dr. Elaine Hayes Anthony, who was not only once a JPS team member, but also reigned as Miss Jim Hill High School. In or around, shh, we're not gonna say it again. And we'll also hear, hear remarks from our board president, Dr. Edward Seaback. Good morning, JPS. Good morning. Let me hear from you again. Good morning, JPS. Good morning. Some, of, some of you may be listening to all of those schools I attended and, and wondering why it's had such a journey in so many schools. We'll, we'll talk about that later on, right? Uh, but listen, give a round of applause to the young brothers who sang for us just a moment ago. That's how Callaway High School does it, right? <laughs> Listen, I wish that you had my perspective at this very moment. If you knew how amazing you look right now, how beautiful and handsome you look, please give yourselves a round of applause. I also request that you give your school board members and their representation a round of applause today. And of course, uh, our superintendent and his amazing team, please give them a round of applause. I must admit that I'm a bit emotional right now in this moment because what I'm looking at is the same JPS that a few short years ago you were on trial. The same JPS that they said could not succeed. The same JPS school district that the state was threatening to take over and now you are excelling. Please stand up and give yourselves a round of applause. I have never been prouder of being a JPS product than I am today. I want you to know to your teachers, administrators, uh, you're doing more than just teaching science and mathematics and English. You, in fact, are changing lives. You're unlocking what we 
call dignity or we look for or aspire to in the city of Jackson is a dignity economy. You're taking children out of cycles of humiliation. You're redefining yourselves and not accepting someone else's narrative of who you are. And you deserve, once again, to give yourselves a round of applause. Listen, it is my distinct pleasure to welcome you all back this year and bring greetings on behalf of the city of Jackson. I wish and pray for a blessed school year full of success where we'll have more announcements to make like the ones that we started off with. And I will leave you with this quote from Amir, Carl, Amir Kar Cabral, a great activist who once said that people are not fighting for the ideas in your head. They're fighting for the right to win material benefits, the right to secure a future for their children. Thank you for your hard work and welcome back. God bless you. Good morning. I feel so at home here because I used to sit in those very seats as your assistant superintendent for public information, pupil placement, and professional development, and spokesperson for the Board of Trustees for the Jackson Public School District. So hosting the Jackson Public School Convocation on our campus here this morning is an absolute pleasure. As mentioned, I am Dr. Elaine Hayes Anthony, acting president of The I Love Jackson State University. I attended JPS K through 12 graduating from Jim Hill High School. Whereas you've heard, I served Big Jim Hill, as we called it back in the day, as it's Miss Jim Hill. I want to tell you, and I have to do this because it's on my heart to tell you, I have a fervent legacy with the Jackson Public School District. My mother retired from Wingfield High School. My godparents retired from Isabel Elementary and then Rowan Middle School. My sister Gloria retired from Green Elementary. My god sister Lorna Thomas retired from Pecan Park and later Central Office. Currently, my namesake and goddaughter, Melissa Elaine, is a social studies teacher at People's Middle School. And the pride and joy of our hearts is a rising second grader at Boyd Elementary. Aiden Parker Anthony. So I had to stop and say all of that because I'm one of you. Before I started wearing this blue and white and being here at DI Love, I grew up in Jackson Public Schools. So I know what this is, this is a meaningful time of year and I know all of the things because I had to do it that you're going through. So I love JPS, I will always love JPS. My connection to both institutions is an example of the pipeline that someone so graciously mentioned. Um, we created and the impact made on the lives of students matriculating 
through the public education system here in the city of Jackson. If we pause for a moment and look at the world, it is populated with JPS and JSU alumni making a difference in industries that influence our lifestyles today. And if I can just do a quick commercial, anybody here that's interested in entering the I Love, we are stationed here at both points. So we're ready for registration. That's both undergraduate and what? Graduate. So those of you who are looking to extend your education, just keep on coming back. We love you here at the I Love. All right. However, none of this would be possible without each and every one of you here. Sometimes it may feel like your efforts go unacknowledged or we're just turning our wheels, but you are an invaluable part of the education process for our youth. This is the start. We get them after you. So we need to create partnerships, as I mentioned to your superintendent, and we need to make sure that we are the village that will take our students where they need to be. You are the motivators and mentors encouraging them on their journey. You will be the people they remember when they attain their goals, receive their promotions, and gain professional accolades. You give them the foundation that is needed to get to the next level and play a critical role in their enrichment, which should forever, forever be applauded. So it will always be an honor to welcome you here today for the JPS Convocation. One district, one direction. Marching toward what? Excellence. At Jackson State University, we pride ourselves on producing excellence in all avenues of the college experience, from academics and student success to research and athletics. Go Tigers! I want to emphasize student success because this is our priority and we must work in tandem to ensure our youth are productive and receive a high quality education so they can live high quality lives. It can only be accompanied with the cohesive efforts of faculty and staff just like you. Thank you for pouring into our students and being a guiding force in their lives. I can tell you that I remember just about all of the teachers that I had throughout my career in JPS. You are the superstars of our community, and I wish you the best as you strive toward excellence. Please enjoy yourself. I've already enjoyed myself. I mean, I, we were down there going on, and with the band and, and that choir, so it was just fantastic. I know you're going to have a good year because you're off to a shining start. Remember that we love you here at uh, The I Love, and however we can be of service to you, we want to do that. So Superintendent Green, thank you for bringing this event to Jackson State University. We look forward to hosting you again. Thank you so much. Good morning. It is always great to be together this time of year. My name is Ed Sivak, and I have the privilege of being uh, the board president for Jackson Public Schools. I'm also very proud that my wife and I will be entering our 16th year as JPS parents this year. <laughs> Dr. Hayes, Anthony, thank you for giving us this space to be together. Um, as a proud JSU alumnus, 
I want to be unequivocally clear, without Jackson State University, there is no Jackson Public Schools. So, so. I'd like to begin today by asking any elected officials in the room, in the House, to stand and be recognized. I know I've seen a few. We have state legislature, state legislators, city council members, the mayor, county supervisors. Let's give them a round of applause. They have always had our back. Mayor Lumumba, I want to send a special shout out your way. Um, for the wisdom and foresight you've continuously shown in the appointments and reappointments to the board. Barbara Hilliard, Cynthia Thompson, Letitia Johnson, Jean Hairston, Frank Figures, Mitch McGuffey, Robbie Luckett, Andrea Jones. This group is one of the most incredible collections of people with whom I've ever had the chance to work. They love this city, every last one, and gives of their time humbly and selflessly day in and day out. Thank you for the opportunity to work with each of them and to each of you, thank you for all you give to JPS and thank you for your support of me. I also wanna take a moment to lift up our superintendent. Let's give him another round of applause. Any success people attribute to this board goes right back to his leadership, the leadership of his team, the vision, the resilience, and at times, even the resistance of Dr. Green. Dr. Green, thank you for continuing to make Jackson your home. We don't take for granted one minute every day that you're here. You know, much has been made of this thing called the Mississippi miracle in the press of late. This notion that by some, quote, miracle, children in the nation's most impoverished state in the nation's blackest state could actually learn. I've actually taken great offense to this characterization in this narrative for a couple of reasons. First, when credit is given for this miracle, the contributions of Jackson Public Schools are noticeably absent. Make no mistake, there is no progress in Mississippi without progress in Jackson. Okay. There are no gains in educational outcomes in the state of Mississippi without gains in Jackson Public Schools. Without our students, without our teachers, our principals, our coaches, our counselors, our cafeteria workers, our maintenance workers, everyone in this room and everyone who wants to be in this room but couldn't be, they make it happen every single day. And second, the notion that anyone would characterize what we're celebrating today as only possible by a miracle, well, that's just flat out bull. <laughs> All right, so. It takes hard work, persistence, and love, tough love, year over year over year to make progress. It takes setting ego aside it takes every last one of us just doing our part, what we're here to do over the long haul, even when it's hard, even when it's uncomfortable. And the reality is, is this room is bursting. We saw it, we felt it. It's bursting with people who do just that. People like Dr. Bradley, the principal at Lanier High School. I know you can always get an applause line when you shout out Lanier. <laughs> you know, when we were seated as board members in 2017, over 2,000 days ago, the graduation rate at Lanier High School was 57%. Roughly one out of every two students did not walk for their diploma. Well, this year, when the dust settles, I believe I heard the graduation rate at the 833 Nation will be over 85%. Yes. That was no miracle. It was hard work, 
and a fundamental belief in our children that they are worthy and deserving of high expectations. It was a fundamental belief in ourselves. So with Dr. Bradley as an inspiration for all of us, I would like to close out my remarks with excerpts from her commencement address shared last May. In it, she quoted Tim Cook, the chief executive officer of Apple, who said, fearlessness means taking the step, the first step, even if you don't know where it will take you. It means being driven by a higher purpose rather than by applause. It means knowing that you reveal your character when you stand apart more than when you stand with a crowd. And these were her words, because she charged the graduates with this, and the one that I will leave with our charge today. She said, today, be fearless. Be the first person, excuse me, be fearless. Be the last person to accept things as they are, and the first person to stand up and change things for the better. We are one district, one direction. We are JPS. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Lumumba, Dr. Anthony, and Dr. Seabeck. Let's give them another round of applause. <laughs> At this time, we would like to acknowledge the other members of the Jackson Public Schools Board of Trustees. If you are present, would you please stand? Robert Hilliard, Vice President. <laughs> Cynthia Thompson, Secretary. Attorney Leticia S. Johnson, member. Frank Figures, member. Dr. Jean Middleton, member. And Mitch McGuffey, member. We will now be entertained by some of our most talented musicians and vocalists. The ensemble consists of JPS music teachers and scholars. Members include Director Dr. Carrie Denton, Olivia Day, Aiden Davis, and Landon Reed from Walton Elementary, Quanda Brooks from Marshall Elementary, Carol McLaughlin from Casey Elementary, Reagan Jackson from Wilkins Elementary, Curtina Mahomes from Sykes Elementary, Larry Weems from Obama Magnet, Richard Michael Stevens from Shirley Elementary, Quintavious Phillips from the Office of Teaching and Learning, Demarcus Wilson from Wells APEC, and Katia Madison from Jim Hill High School. What's up, Jackson Public School? Come on, y'all stand on your feet this morning. Come on, rock with us, groove with us.
Family, you know, this is a homecoming celebration, and I almost felt like I was at the tailgate with the little Frankie Beverly and the grill going. Let's give them another round of applause, y'all. They showed out. And now, we will enjoy a spoken word by none other than our 2023 Counselor of the Year, representing Callaway High School, Ms. Carmen Taylor. She will be followed by another amazing performance from Unity entitled, Grateful for JPS. vibrant grace, homecoming takes its place. A jubilant celebration full of pride where history and unity coincide. On sacred ground where wisdom sown, lively echoes of the past are known. With the legacy of JPS held high, each step retells a resilient sky. Alumni return with joyous glee to the hallowed halls that set them free. The campus bursts alive, ablaze with colors of tradition that continue to amaze. Through fellowship, bonds are formed. In shared experiences, spirits are warm. Scholars, artists, visionaries unite in the embrace of a timeless night. The campus swells with hope and cheer, a testament of dreams held dear. Homecoming. A tapestry spawn where unity and excellence are one. With voices raised, hearts intertwined, a legacy of greatness is redefined. In this jubilant tale, we'll forever roam. Welcome back to JPS, our cherished home.
school year brings reflections on accomplishments of JPS scholars and staff from last year. Obama Magnet Elementary, which held the top rank among Mississippi's elementary schools last year, achieved this honor for the Regulators. We regulate any stealing of his property. We should too. Which is Regulators. We regulate any stealing of his property. We should too. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steal if you know what I mean. Earn your keep. The barrels in your mouth. Come on. Bring them out, bring them out. Hey. Bring them out, bring them out. Yeah. Bring them out, bring them out. Hey. Bring them out, bring them out. Yeah. VIP, coming live from the VIP. Mississippi to Philly, Albuquerque to Chat Town. I got the crowd yelling. Bring them out, bring them out. Hey, all my hot girls yelling. Bring them out, bring them out. All the dope boys yelling. Bring them out, bring them out. 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 Bring them out.
get what other fucking rapper wanted in this. I got rich and I'm still in a hooligan clique. You be rapping by blow, I don't move in the brick. You talk about shooting out, now we're doing it quick. If I hit you in the face, you gon' be suing me quick. If I catch another case, I'm not true to be missed. So I'ma keep a cool head, stay out of the news headlines. And show these other rappers it's bedtime. It's hey, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Hey, 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 JPS. Somebody said it was homecoming. Somebody said we had a little bit of spirit in Jackson Public Schools. Well, we're going to try this a little bit with the, uh, the spirit contest and see which feeder pattern actually shows up. I don't know. I got some good money. I'm not going to tell you how I got money on. But we're going to start. And these are listed alphabetically. So don't come at me because you are in conflict with the alphabet. I'm just going with the list. All right, all right. Let's start with the Callaway High School feeder pattern. Woo! Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. It's hard to yell when the bat rails in your mouth. Woo! school feeder pattern but we're gonna move on and next up is the Forest Hill High School feeder pattern all right now Next up, 
Oh, my Lord. Jim Hill High School feeder pattern. <laughs> Jim Hill is hype. <laughs> All right now, Jim Hill. We see you. But next up, next up, Lanier Jr. Senior High School Peter Pan. Because I think we got a few more in the house. Let's go to that Mara High School feeder pattern. i 
Elementary School. And Span Elementary School. And last but certainly not least, Wells APAC Elementary. All right. We see you, Mustangs. Uh-oh, something tells me somebody has a response. I think somebody has a response. Is the Provine High School theater pattern in the house? It's Capital City Alternative School in the house. It's the Career Development Center in the house. It's re-engaging in education for all to progress. Reef, are you here? Blackburn Middle, show some noise. Plazell Elementary School, make some noise. And they stay there. Lake Elementary School, make some noise. And Rains Elementary School. All right, Provine Peter Pattern. Lastly, but certainly not least, we have the Wingfield High School Peter Pattern. Celebrity judges, our celebrity judges are conferring. Our celebrity judges are conferring, and they're coming closer. Oh, my goodness! Who will it be? Who will it be? Who 
Who will it be? This just in. This just in. The winner of our 23-24 school year spirit award is Lanier High School! Lanier Junior Senior High School! 833 Nation! Oh, I can't hold it for a minute? Okay. All right. All right, 833 Nation, congratulations. Turn up one more time for our winners. All right, we are in for a treat today as we have not one, but two outstanding JPS scholars who will share the stage as our co-keynote speakers. They will be introduced by their principals, Ashley Molden of JPS Tougaloo Early College and Bobby Brown of Jim Hill High School. told me it was homecoming in JPS today. Did they say that? Well, I got one old school move we can see if they can jam to with us. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Ola, ola, eh, ola, ola, eh. Roll, roll, roll with Ash Bobby B now. <laughs> Good morning, team JPS. I am Ashley Molden, and I am the proud principal of some very special Callaway Chargers, Forest Hill Patriots, Jim Hill Tigers, Lanier Bulldogs, Murrah Mustangs, Provine Rams, and Wingfield Falcons. You see, being the principal of the JPS Tougaloo Early College High School program personifies what it means to truly be one district going in one direction, marching towards excellence. This morning, I am here to introduce one of our keynote speakers. Mr. Charles Williams is a proud member of the JTEC's class of 2024. This Tiger Bobby, hailing from the land of green and gold, is a career JPS academician. Charles began his educational journey as an Isabel Tiger for pre-K and kindergarten. He completed grades first through fifth at Wilkins Elementary. In middle school, he was in the land where the best do their best to be the best at Northwest International Baccalaureate World Middle School. And he's been flying high as a Regal Eagle in high school as a scholar in the JPS Tougaloo Early College High School program. Charles is the son of Mr. Johnny and Miss Pamela Williams. Charles is an integral member of the JTEX community who embodies our district's core value of excellence. Some of his most notable accomplishments are being a member of the inaugural JTEX mock trial team, winning first place in the group exhibit category for the state of Mississippi's Southern Regional Competition, being a member of the JTEX 25 plus ACT club, a member of the Lakeisha Marshall Thomas chapter of the National Honor Society, and a member of the Tougaloo College Concert Choir. When Charles was asked, what is his most favorite thing about being a JPS scholar? He said, my favorite thing about being a scholar on Team JPS is that since I came into the district in pre-K, I have known nothing but great teachers, principals, faculty, and staff that truly care for the well-being of each and every student that comes through their schools. Well, since the Jackson State president has said that she is a Jim Hill High School 
former Miss Jim Hill High School, we would like to formally welcome all of y'all to the West Jackson community. The Gowdy community was just next door, known to most as the Washington edition, but for everybody from out west, it's the edition. Welcome. <laughs> Great morning, my brothers and sisters of JPS. I am Bobby D. Brown, principal of Jim Hill High School, and I would be remiss if I did not share over my 18 years serving the community in West Jackson, this is my first time witnessing the district having one district, one direction, moving together in unison for excellence. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. This morning, I am here to introduce to some and present the others, Jayla Dawn, co-keynote speaker, Ms. Dawn is a model of what we have proclaimed to be the profile of a Jackson Public School graduate. She is a, uh, a member of the cheerleader squad. She is a representative of her community, her family, and the hard work at Obama Elementary School, the hard work of Northwest Jackson International Baccalaureate World School, and now a tiger in the land of green and gold. While attending Jim Hill High School, she has been a member of our National Championship Cheer Army, where she serves as co-captain, National Honor Society member, and the current 2023-2024 Miss Jim Hill High School. She is the daughter of Mr. Terrell Gillespie and Ms. Shamika Yadon, who are both graduates of Jackson Public School. And she is accompanied by her mother today, and she has a really, really fine love for her grandmother who supports her, Ms. Sharon Morris, who is also a graduate of Jackson Public Schools. Without any further ado, Ms. Molden. Let's introduce Charles Williams. And Jayla Dawn, Miss Jim Hill High School. Good morning, everyone. Did I walk into the wrong district convocation because I believed I asked? Good morning, everyone. Now that sounds like my district. Greetings again to my dynamic JPS family, to Superintendent Green, to the Board of Trustees, to Mrs. Marshall Thomas, and to all the principals, faculty, staff, and students that make up our wonderful district. We have the honor and privilege to welcome you all today to the 2023 JPS Convocation. This year's convocation theme is JPS Homecoming. And for the next 10 minutes, we'll be speaking from the standpoint of 135 years. Wait, let me run that back one more time. 135 years, the homecoming of a lifetime. First. We will start off with a little do now to see how well you know your JPS history. Uh, can we please get our seven representatives from each of our feeder patterns to come up, please? All right. Question number one. What year was JPS founded? Anybody know? All right. Anybody got a solid answer? All right, the correct answer is 1888. Okay, question number two. What is the oldest standing school in the district? Anybody? Anybody get a good answer? Well, if you said Bailey APAC, formerly Bailey High, you would be correct. All right, this question is a little bit tricky, so let's see if y'all got it. Who was the first and only female superintendent? Okay, y'all was fast with that one. It is Dr. Jane Sargent. All right, all right, and let's see how well you know our current superintendent. So how many years has he served as superintendent in our district? Y'all really don't know y'all superintendent, do y'all? 
because he will now be entering into his sixth year as superintendent of our district. All right, the do now wasn't too hard, was it? It felt good to be a teacher for the moment. JPS has been around since 1888. We have over 50 schools and we are the second largest school district in the state of Mississippi. With us being so large, we have excellence in every corner from the elementary schools to our high schools. Many of us do not know how, how excellent this school district truly is. Take us for example, we are both products of the best middle school, Northwest Ivy. which has outperformed middle schools throughout our state and across the U.S. Although we have taken different routes to high schools, a Jim Hill Tiger and a JPS Tougaloo Early College Eagle, we are still showcasing the excellence the district is known for. I personally still want to showcase the excellence, this J the excellence that JPS has to offer seven years from now. I have three generations of JPS graduates in my family. My mother, she went to Calloway High School. <laughs> and my great mother, I mean my grandmother and my great grandmother both went to Lanier High School. They are all models of the excellence that JPS has to offer. You don't have to take our word for it. Let's check out some of our notable alumni. One notable alumni is Mr. Fred E. Kinsey Jr., who is a 2003 graduate of Provine High School. He is now a community physician at Baptist Hospital right here in Jackson, Mississippi. He's still giving back. Take Cassandra Wilson. She is a Grammy Award winning jazz musician who is a 1973 graduate of Murrah High School. Most recently, we have an outstanding young lady, Aja Clayton, who graduated from Murrah High School, just recently completed medical school at the Warren Alpert Medical School of Brown University. Let's not forget about some of our amazing teachers and administrators who have graduated from one of our JPS high schools. If you are a teacher, administrator, or staff member who has graduated from a JPS high school, please stand up to be recognized. Now, if this doesn't show you our excellence, then excellence doesn't exist. We are JPS. And you know, my lovely keynote speaker isn't the only one that has some of that JPS excellence flowing through her bloodline. Oh, no, no, no. Because my distinguishedly amazing mother who is sitting out in the audience today is a proud 1982 graduate of Ram City Provine High School. Okay, I see what they on. And she later would become a member of Team JPS by serving as the exceptional education instructor at Chastain Middle. And coincidentally, one of my older brothers graduated not only from the Northwest Jackson International Baccalaureate World Middle School, but he also is a 2006 graduate of the Jim Hill High School. Now, I'm going to bring it back to a point that Jayla made earlier. As she said, this district has been a pillar of the city since 1888. I want you to just sit on that for a minute. Meaning that for what, 135 years, this district has weathered many storms and still managed to come out on top. From the frozen pipes that cause us to spend an, hour, an extra hour in school every day that year, to again the possible state takeover and to top it all off, that dreaded COVID, this district has shown time and time again that just like those precious few seconds that stand between two teams and the championship, we always use them to manage to score the winning touchdown. But you know, just as we use those seconds to win the game, we need to use every single minute of the game this year to achieve the goal more important than winning the championship. And that is to become an A-rated school district. And you know what? I'm going to run that back again. Jackson Public Schools will be an A-rated school district. 
That is why this year's theme is JPS Homecoming. Because it's just not just because it looks good printed on this program or because it sounds good, but it's because it is a true statement. This is the year of homecoming. This is the year that we prove that we are better than a C. This is the year that we prove that we are better than average. This is the year that we prove, despite our water issues, despite our socioeconomic status, and despite the war that we are fighting in our city, we are still champions of being the three R's. And you want to know what those three R's? We are resilient, resistant, and resolute. Again, we are champions. This is the year that we come home, show up, and show out to show all the surrounding districts who's really up on game. Let me hear y'all. This is our year, Yale JPS. This is our year, Yale JPS. This is our year, Yale JPS. Now, as we draw this speech to a close, we simply would be remiss if we didn't recognize all members of the faculty and staff that serve in our amazing district. You guys are awesome, and we really appreciate you. All the teachers, faculty, and staff members, please stand up to be recognized. That's everybody. On behalf of every scholar in this district, we appreciate you, teachers and administrators. You are making history today. Think of it like this. The knowledge you are embedding into the brains of scholars today will stick with them for years and years to come. You are the building blocks of history. You are creating futures. What greater gift to have? And you all just don't realize the impact that you have on us as students. You know, we've grown up in school with you all as teachers referring to us as your children. And to you all, we refer to you as our school moms and dads. But what we've truly found out is that these sentiments are true and that you truly consider us to be one of your own. You know, speaking on this topic reminds me of a story told to me by one of our middle school teachers on why she became a teacher. And essentially, to make a long story short, she was on the path to one career. She ended up changing to another and staying there for a substantial amount of years. But she ultimately made the decision to become a teacher when she had children. And she said that she had teaching in her heart. And hearing that story made me realize the roles that teachers, administrators, faculty, and staff play in shaping our lives, because I can just about guess that a good number of the individuals standing before me and sitting before me today possibly had a million different career opportunities, but you all chose to work in education. And because of that, you get to sit and bear witness to all the greatness that will soon come from the students that you taught. So now, we have reached the end of our presentation. JPS is like a team, where we all depend on each other and work towards a common shared goal. Being a part of the Tiger Cheer Army, the best cheer team, has made me realize a little bit about teams. When going to competitions, a common shared goal was winning and being excellent in what we do through hard work, practice, and perseverance. JPS, we are in competition with ourselves. We want to be better than what we were last year. This is the year of homecoming, a celebration of the past, but also bringing in positive outcomes for the future. We want excellence inside and outside of the classroom. We all want to be an A-rated school. Let me say that again. We all want to be an A-rated school. So let's get into this school year with excellence, equity, growth mindset, positive relationships, in a positive and respectful culture.
And with that, we want to thank you all and our amazing JPS family again for affording us this opportunity to speak before you all today. And before we close, I want each of you to know that we, as JPS scholars, are truly blessed to have each and every single one of you here today in our corners, pushing and guiding us to meet our fullest potential. You know, it's nothing, I believe, but the goodness of God that we are so blessed to have a village like this. Wow. As we approach the end of the fourth quarter of homecoming, our head coach, Superintendent Dr. Eric Green, will provide us with closing remarks. Wow is right. Have you been wild this morning? Tell you, I've had a range of emotions that just have me all jacked up this morning in a really good way. In a really good way. How are you feeling? Good. I want to ask you to please, please give a rousing applause for all of our scholars, our team members, for all of those who helped to make this morning a reality. Come on, let's give it up for them. Maybe you can imagine, but perhaps you can't imagine what it took to pull this off. The rehearsals for the band, all of the rehearsals of those who performed, the speeches that were written and on and on, all the logistics, coordinating, transportation, all of it. Just so much work that went into this morning. I do want to say thank you. It does not um, escape me the heart that is poured into these opportunities for us as a team to come together. This is the one time, y'all pause, this is the one time in the school year that the entire team, and, and sadly because school does start on Monday, there are some team members who can't be with us here this morning. Let's give it up for them. Those who are back still trying to make some things happen so that we can start the school year strong. It does not escape me the power of this moment. Um, this annual tradition uh, where we come together and touch and agree and remind one another that you're not in the fight alone, you're not working alone. Somebody has your back. Many somebodies have your back and that we are working together. So again, thank you. I want to thank all of our elected officials, our partners, several of our partners who are here, of course, JSU for hosting us and um, our talented and dedicated board 
members who are here uh, with us this morning. Let's give it up for them again. Give them a round of applause. As mighty as we are, and as talented as we are as a team, we've been able to accomplish some of what we've accomplished as a direct result of the partnerships and the support that we have from others around us who know the value of this school district and understand that we have to protect it and support it actively on a daily basis and that that protection and support cannot be passive. I want to now express my deepest gratitude for Team Jackson Public Schools, Team JPS, for each and every one of you. I've said it previously and I'll continue to say it, each and every one of us had a choice. You could have been someplace else. You could have chosen another school district. You could have chosen another state. You could have chosen another field. But you chose to be a part of Jackson Public Schools. And in doing so, you raised your hand to say, I want to be a part of what works in this school district. I want to be a part of what changes, transforms lives, homes, communities, the city. And as we know, so goes Jackson, so goes who? Mississippi. So changing the state. Our work is not small. And so I have so much gratitude for you for the way that you all have shown up. I want to give a very special shout out. And y'all just bear with me for this. You know, we so often talk about our teachers and our counselors and librarians and principals and all the folks who work day in, day, day in and day out in our schools. And rightfully so. Like that's yeoman's work. But I want to I want us to wrap our arms around all of our classified team members, all of those who help to secure our buildings, clean our buildings, transport our babies, feed our babies, pay you, the folks who process your payroll, all of that. Amen. This district, no district works without all of those individuals doing their roles to ensure that we have the conditions to do our work. So let's be sure to give them some love. Now, um, we're, we're a little bit over time, and I appreciate y'all's uh, patience this morning. A few things I want to just share with you. Uh, as you might recall, at last year's convocation, our performance data had not been re released formally, and so we couldn't discuss it in detail. But you do remember what happened after convocation, right? When we came back with an announcement that Jackson Public Schools had emerged and elevated to the next accountability rating. Let's clap it up for that. That was not a miracle. That was your work on full display. Well, again, unfortunately, this year, unfortunately, I have to let you know that the data has not been released, so we can't talk about it again. How and ever. I just need you to read my mind. Just read my mind, that's all you gotta do. And we'll go on from there, and we'll let the story be told as it's told. Something tells me we'll have a little bit to celebrate at the appointed time. Team JPS, we've been working our strategic plan, our five-year st strategic plan. We've been very closely monitoring those goals that we set, and we're in the fifth year of our strategic plan. So we've got more work to do. But we have a plan, and we've been working the plan, and the plan has been working for us. Amen? We're not just out here doing random stuff. Our work is concerted. It's focused. And so just stay tuned and stay engaged and support us. It's hard to believe that we'll be, coming, we'll be welcoming our scholars on Monday for the 23-24 school year. But look at your neighbor and say, 
it's time. Look at the other neighbor and say, it's time. That's right. Pull out your, pull out your hankies, do what you gotta do. Send up your prayers, go into your quiet space, do what you need to do, but it is time. That's right, it's time. It's time to show our scholars how much we love and appreciate them. It's time to show them how much we believe in them by holding them to high standards. It's time to show the world, Team JPS, to show our scholars the world and that they need to see it in order to see themselves in it. It's time to model for our scholars what humanity and honor and dignity look like in action. It's time to show our scholars that teamwork and collaboration show them what that looks like and not tearing one another down all the time. It's time to model for our scholars all of the core values that we claim to espouse to. Equity, excellence, the growth mindset, relationships, relevance, and a positive and respectful culture. It's time to model that day in and day out. It's time to demonstrate to ourselves and to others that there are literally no bounds to our greatness and that we can achieve at the absolute highest level. Yeah, I do like my brother did. Let me run that back, because y'all didn't act like you believed it. I mean, to me, these are facts, as the people say. These are facts, irrefutable. It's time to demonstrate to ourselves first and to others that there are literally no bounds to our greatness and that we can achieve at the absolute highest level. It's time to ensure that our scholars experience joy. These young people deserve to grow up with smiles, creating positive and lasting memories and feeling joy in their hearts. They deserve that, Team JPS. And it's sad that we even have to say these words, because unfortunately, so many of our young people are not experiencing joy on the regular. So lastly, it's time for us to fully recognize just how powerful we are. We have the power to literally transform lives. That's not just a tagline, people. To literally transform lives. And yes, even here in Jackson, Mississippi, and here in Jackson Public Schools, transforming lives, deciding that each and every day I will be even better today than I was yesterday at whatever it is that I do. Deciding that I will take it upon myself to ensure that every scholar I see knows that somebody sees them, knows that somebody loves them and somebody wants nothing but the best for them. I will take it upon myself to work with my colleagues so that our work together is so much greater than what any of us could do on our own that I will take it upon myself to own the achievement of this school district and every baby that comes through our doors so that there's absolutely no way that we can fail. It's time, people. It's time, people. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go get it. Have a wonderful school year. I love you. Can't wait to see you out there. Tag of
tag a friend. And that friend gonna tag a friend. And then at the end, we all gonna do it. You know what I'm talking about? How does it go? I'm Echo is going to teach us a new dance called the JPS Shuffle. Now, JPS family, this song is an exclusive track written and produced especially for JPS. You can't find it anywhere but here. It was um, created by an artist who happens to have some very deep ties to our district. The artists are Mohead Mike and Markel 806, also known as our very own Ms. Veldemir Williams' son, Nicholas Williams. Proud mom moment. Wait a minute. I said Miss Veldemir Williams of Central Office. She's a little bit of everything to everybody. Let's clap it up. After we shuffle it on out, we'll enjoy a rendition of JPS Rocks the House by the JPS Mass Band and we'll be followed with dismissal instructions by Mr. LaCharles Brister. Good morning, JPS. Are you ready to shuffle? I just had to bring my friend because thee I love. And I have some friends to join me, so if I can have our deputy superintendent, Dr. Cormac, to come on up, and our four assistant suits, also in vogue, to come on up and help us do the shuffle. We gonna get ready. So we want all of JPS to do the JPS line dance with us. We need everybody up and we need the music going. Hopefully you've been
speed it up a little bit. This part we speed it up a little bit. Hey, listen, hey. Two steps to the left, two steps to the right. Four steps to the front, four steps to the back. Let me see you spin, spin again. Tag green, then tag me. One more time, two steps to the left, two steps to the right. Four steps to the front, four steps to the back. Let me see you spin, and then spin again. That tag green, then tag me. Oh, now we stepping. Yeah.